the world didn't exist. When we made those first two albums, there was so much to do with our own. How good was uh, Asphalt Ribbons? How good? Yeah, or, was, or is, it an, is it not an easy question to answer? I think that's subjective, you know, I think... Um, no, but in hindsight. I think that we were trying to, um, you know, the ideas were there, but we weren't very good at um, achieving the ideas, you know, so I think, um, I think the biggest difference with, um, with those few years of turning from being in one band to another was about um, achieving our ideas, you know, so, but I think in Nottingham it wasn't, um, we didn't have the people to work with, we didn't, we weren't able, myself and David, we weren't able to find a group of musicians to kind of to come together to elevate the music, I think, you know, so, and we were learning, you know, we were clumsy, we were kind of, um, you know, we didn't know what we were doing, so. What was the turning point then for you, when you say, well, as for the ribbons, turning into tinder sticks? I, I mean, I think, the, I think there was a few turning points, you know, I think, um, we, we, we met Dickon in Nottingham um, just before we all moved to London. Um, but I think the biggest turning point was really six people kind of coming together. Um, you know, something happened between us that, um, that is not um, scientific, you know. So Do you still recall the first time you, you had that feeling? Was it specific? A specific rehearsal or maybe the recording? No, I think it was a gradual growing thing until we re recorded the first album and I think when we recorded the first album I think we were all kind of surprised by ourselves, you know, yeah. about what we were doing. But there was a growing momentum for a year maybe leading up to that point and then when that, when that happened that was a kind of a time when we were all like, wow, this is kind of a, a bigger than our own idea of ourselves, you know. So. And when did it, well, when did you lose that in, in the first period of 10 6 do you? I think we had kind of maybe four or five years of just um, working on instinct, on impulse and not really knowing why we were doing something or what we were looking for, but, but there was always um, a kind of creative spark between us. I think somewhere along the line to do with, maybe to do with a kind of a business side, maybe you, we became self-aware, I think, and then I think when we became self-aware, maybe we became cynical, then, then I think we became a little sad, and then I think we started to drift apart, you know, so I think... Um, but if you have to pinpoint the albums? Um, the first period, so the first album you say yeah, that you I think the first two the first two albums I think were kind of made in a really um, kind of the world didn't exist when we made those first two albums. It was so much to do with our own you know our own um, what we created around us we were you know it was so we were so unaware of anything else um, so I think then it began to change so and um, so, and I, and I think that you know you hold on to something because it meant so much. But I think that um, that by the by the end of that the original lineup of the band, it wasn't as though there were kind of arguments, disagreements. It was just I think we just ran out of conversation between us. You know, that there wasn't. The spark there anymore between us. You know? Can you listen to those albums, to those songs? Do I listen to them? Yeah. Uh, some some of my favourite songs, you know, are within those albums. So it's not really about that. It's about um, a collective feeling that okay. you, that you can make. You know, I mean, I think even on a on an album that was hard to make, like Waiting for the Moon. Within Waiting for the Moon, there is songs songs like My Oblivion, which are kind of you know, is kind of way up there with like some of the best songs we've written, you know, so. So it's, so it's not actually in the music on the album, but it's about how the music, how the music came about. That's yeah, I think it's about, you know, the, the excitement in the space in between, you know, I think it's um, something, it's some, something else. It's not really about songwriting, it's about um, 
how people feel when they're together. I think that I think that's kind of um, that kind of is is a really relevant factor in how music sounds. I think you know.